Hi, today I want to talk to you about the five things you need to know before building a new home. Hi, I'm David Pastana, broker and owner of Rise Realty. Alright, before we get started today and you're interested in new homes, I've included a link below where you can search for all the new construction in Utah Valley. I've also included um, a link to homes that are somewhere between two and five years old. They're new, they're not brand new, but they may be what you're looking for. All right, so let's talk about the five things you need to know before building a new home. Number one is you're gonna have to have patience. It takes time to build a new home, but when you walk in, you see this beautiful model home and you want it and you sign a contract, well, now the waiting starts. Most new homes take somewhere between four and nine months to complete. Uh, larger, more expensive homes will always take longer than that, but that's the standard. You have to know that the contract that you sign is also in favor of the builder. They have uh, clauses within there that allow them flexibility. There may be weather delays, they just may be backlogged because of all the homes they're building, uh, which could vary the time. Let's say they quote you at six months, ends up taking eight months, well, that's perfectly legit within the clause. And what you have to have with patience is flexibility. So if you have a lease that, uh, if you're renting and you have a lease that ends in September, you may need to go month to month until your house is ready. But when you're within 30 days, you should know. All right, the second thing you need to know is that the builders have a preferred lender. In fact, it's often a requirement within the contract. Um, on top of pre-qualifying with them, they try to incentivize you to use their lender. Now, that can be good or it can be bad. Sometimes it is really beneficial to use their lender. They could give you closing costs. Um, they could add upgrades to your home for quote unquote free or include them in their price. But uh, what you need to know is that um, the lender, just because they're giving you those things, doesn't mean they're always free. So watch out for their back-end fees and that it's not affecting your rate too much. So you'll be able to get your current uh, lender and the mortgage, uh, the builder's lender, put them side to side and just make sure that it's beneficial for you and you can make your choice from there. All right, the third thing you need to know is about sales price. Um, typically in this hot market, that base price isn't negotiable. But then on top of the base price, and that's what they're advertising, they have a lot premium. So you'll find, you'll look at the lots that are available and you're like, I like that lot. And you find out that that lot has a $10,000 lot premium. So it took your house, let's say from 250 now to 260. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I can absorb that. But then you notice that the model home None of, the, none of the features in the model home actually are what's included in the price. They probably have granite countertops, tile, wood flooring, upgraded carpet, a fireplace. They have all these things that aren't actually within the base price of the home. Most people do on average $10,000 worth of upgrades. And so all of a sudden, now we're another 10,000 and that could be outside of your price range. So. Uh, when you also go back and compare it to the older home, you may notice that it is substantially more expensive. Now, the benefits are it's brand new, it's yours, and you've customized it. But you just need to be aware that when you go into there, there are additional fees. Now, the fourth thing you need to know is also what's not included in the price. So sometimes you get carried away with what's included and what they're going to give you and the upgrades. You forget what they're not going to do for you, which is just as important. Typically what a new construction doesn't include is a basement, a backyard, and a fence. Those are some of the basic items that many new builders don't. So each builder is different and you want to check with them. But if you're comparing them to homes that are already completed and they have a finished basement, they have a backyard and full landscaping with, with uh, trees, all those things do cost a lot of money and you want to take all those into consideration when buying. The fifth and final thing you need to know is that the builder will actually pay for you to have an agent. Now, you'll go to the model and many people go on their own. And in fact, most people buy new homes without an agent, but it's actually a mistake because they're gonna pay for it. And uh, the, the agents who are there, you need to know one thing, 
they represent the builder. They're very kind, they're very helpful, they're trained that way, but ultimately they do not represent your interest. And I found that people who buy that get confused, they feel pressured and maybe a little bit bullied into signing paperwork when it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. An experienced agent can help you understand what's common, what's not common, or what's rational or irrational with what they're asking you to sign. And best of all, it's free to you. Thanks for watching this episode. Uh, we appreciate your support. Again, I'm David Pisana, broker owner at Rice Realty. If you have any real estate needs, please reach out to me and we'll be able to help you. And again, check out those links of new homes in the Utah County area. We have new construction link and we also have new homes. Now, the new homes are, are finished so you don't have to go through the waiting process, but it is still new and looks beautiful. So give us a call if you need anything. Thanks for watching.